Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the episode of Coral Island. Last episode, we actually got a decent amount done. I believe we got to a town ranking of A, mainly because we were up to no good. We took advantage of a duping bug to finally get enough geodes to give us our blowpool. Which really, if you think about it, a little sad. Ooh, watermelon. I don't think I've touched a watermelon. Um, it's a little sad uh, that we basically had to resort to that in order to get our blowpool and in order to get um, our finish our dinosaur collection. That's really kind of sad that the RNG is that poor that it requires that this should be ready today or tomorrow. Well, in today's episode, yeah. Oop, that was the wrong button. Uh, so we will be able to finish the altar today. Like the entire temple. Which I don't believe I have ever seen. I finished collections before, but I have never finished the altars. So I'm a little excited about it. Um, okay. Why do I just have a random... Watermelon goes in here. Why do I have a random sweet potato in there? Did I save two sweet potatoes? No, I did not. So there's first. And there you go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we also, right, right, okay, uh, we also did, wait, why did not all of you follow, because I don't have a bonus. Um, we also finished, we finally finished all the cranberries? No. No way, we did. Okay. Well, random cranberry. You get to live in there now. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we also automated. We got this. Interesting. Um, we automated this. Which we, like I said, we are only doing uh, osmium level. We're not going to mess with all the other ones. Mm. Not happening. Mainly because it's just, if aging was a little faster, maybe, but it's not. So we got to deal with what we got. Um, today, I don't think our watering can will be done. We all, we worked on upgrading our final tool. I don't know whether that was last episode of the episode, but they all run together at this point. Animals. Um, it's just sad but true. Um, we may see if well, we need to save our wool, first off. Um, if we can get the auto petter for that middle coop, we may, we may go buy some chickens today. I'm not, I'm not going to handle that many chickens without having an auto petter at one. Okay, well, it's going to take a while then. Unless the other one has magic for us, which I don't think it does. This makes me wish that I, I planned this better, but this was kind of like a, I did research and then I'm like, oh. We kind of did forget about that. All right. It was one of those type of things. So, yeah. That's why this game, it's fun. But it is all, oh, there's another one. Okay. It's a little annoying because you do need to do so much research outside in order to be successful at it. But I guess... 
Is that my competitive nature coming through? Probably. Um, I, I do. I am a little competitive. Uh, so that's one and that's another. That's a third. Actually, no, we'll do this next. Then you and you and you. And then finally you, you, and you. I think that will stack nicely. You do need to think about the order because it's going to keep going round and round until it likes the order you put it in. If you hear thundering, there is a thunderstorm today where I live. It just thundered. It's not that bad. We need to check the greenhouse. It's like a little passing morning shower. So you're two days behind. I don't remember. I knew I planted an entire greenhouse of cactus. I just don't remember how far behind they were. Um, next episode should be. I didn't check for birthdays. I should go do. Just compare the calendars. Um, I don't think there's anyone's birthday. My goal today, because like I said, next episode is going to be our last episode for Coral Island for a little while. Um, we are going to move on to another game. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Dang it. And then we'll do you. That works. Okay. Um, I haven't, I don't know what game I'm going to be doing officially yet. I have an idea. I've been, because I don't just blindly go into a game. If you haven't noticed, I have to try it and play it on my own. Um, the game I am leaning towards to do a quick playthrough of, um, well, quick as in we'll, we'll, we'll complete the game, but, um, is, what is it called? Uh, Echoes of the Plum Grove. I bought that the other day and I'm having fun in it. Um, I've only played like a week or so and I am having fun. I am leaning towards that being the next game. Um, no. Yes, we can do you though. Um, I doubt anything would be ready. Yeah. I think I already checked it too. I'm <laughs> just stupid. Um, that's what I'm leaning towards. It is a very cute game. Um, I'm enjoying it. There are certain things I am not enjoying in it. So it will, because there's a, a lot you can modify gameplay wise. I'm going to probably be playing a, a, a modified version of playing the game. Just because there are certain things I don't like. Um, like... Um, geodes. Like, for instance, yeah, that's all we need to process. I'm keeping these um, until we officially get the CI Joe. Um, then once we once we have officially done, or it just gets to be ridiculous, we'll process them all. Yeah, like I don't like the food durability. I mean, it's realistic. I don't like it though at all. I will, I removed that. Um, I also think the tool durability is a little much. It's like on the first day, like the first week, my tools are already garbage. It's just like, I'm not too crazy about that. So that might change. I might get rid of that one. Um, what else? Come on, be nice. The aging, because there is aging in that game. Um, two days, okay. There is aging in that game. I don't know, I need to do more research into how the aging mechanic truly works. 
um, to decide if I want how, what aging I want it to be. And because it's a unique idea, because it's essentially you are like in a colony. Um, and you need to, you can live through the generations. Um, I think they're, these are very low sap from that. Or was I, did I get the sap somewhere else? I don't know. I, I don't know where I got the sap from. But so yeah, so you live through the generation, so your character ages. So like you're working against time, essentially. It's like how much can you get done in this lifetime? And like the townsfolk die and then their children take over. It's very cute. It is so adorable. Like it's like a paper cutout style art. Very cute. Um, but yeah, I am leaning towards that game is next. I haven't filmed anything yet. I'm filming this on the 7th, May 7th. I think today, well, I do want to get some scenes. So between four and eight, there's a scene we can get at the vineyard. Um, so I'm kind of going to do today a little bit of scenes from last episode or maybe the episode before where there was that scene in City Hall. Not the Wataru one in doing yoga, but the one before. I have no idea who that is still. I have looked high and low. It is definitely not Leah because Leah her scene involves her mother or stepmother, excuse me. Um, so it is not a Leah scene. Uh, vineyard is one we can get at 10, 11 to 4. Uh, Coraline, 6 to 10. Charles's house, 9 to 5. Some of these I had to tell myself who they were because there's no getting around the. Ooh. Heading out, Karen. Yes. We're good. Unfortunately, does this mean her mayoral bid's over, I'm guessing? So, very lucky for you. We never got around to voting on a new mayor, which I, missing capitalization, would have won, of course. Between your town rank A and those pesky binds, my higher ups decided to pull the plug on our starlet operation. Speaking of which, your town is strange. I mean, look at it. A town senses evil, lady. Only my building is completely covered in vines. No other building is. That makes no sense. I hope I never have to see you or this backward town ever again. Well, there goes that problem. But now we have this problem. What is up with those vines? As much as I hate to admit, I do agree with Karen that this is weird. I need to talk to Ling about this. That can wait. You heard Karen, right? Our town really did reach rank A. Judge Rosh contacted me earlier and it is already on her way here to conduct an official town rank ceremony. I need to get the word out for this momentous occasion. Uh, I expect to see you there. Let's see? I did not know this was coming up. We may extend this a little bit then it, to continue this. Um, I mean, either way, it will get it eventually. I think if I get a letter in the next three or four days telling me, or I might Google it. Uh, the music is a little, a little broken. Hey, mate. You're home alone again. TV's too good to ignore. Charles, you're a successful doctor. Why are you wasting your youth sitting around at home by yourself? Yeah, yeah, Brooke, old newsman, time for you to move on. I 
back in the game. Come on, come with me one of these days. What do you say? Well, I wasn't alone. See, Lexi's right there. Well, I literally walked in with God. <laughs> Lexi literally just arrived with me, Charles. You are alone. <laughs> I did not know that was the next line. I, I've never seen any of Charles' scenes before. <laughs> I have no idea that's what Scott says. I guess I, I could go wrong. I, what could go wrong, right? Wow. Uh -huh. Attaboy. Yeah. All right. The next Charles scene can only be gotten on a Monday or a Wednesday. Uh, we can go to the vineyard for an Erica scene. This is, I think, what I'm going to a little bit concentrate on. I do want to try to get as many scenes as possible. Ah, oh, vineyard, vineyard, vineyard. This is the closest. I mean, they'll be here when we're doing the working towards the update. I at least want to get everyone started. There should be an Erica scene here. It might be because it's windy. It is because it's windy. Ah. Uh, let me verify. Erica, Erica, Erica. Yeah, it has to be sunny. Okay. Um, oh. Hey there, Lexi. It's good to see you. Everyone's already inside, including Judge. Oh, that's nice. So I, we won't continue because it's right here. I was expecting a note. So we should probably join them soon. I'm excited. I'm really nervous. This feels like deja vu. Ah, do this one. You're excited, huh? I'm feeling the same way. Before we head in, I just want to take a moment to say thanks, Lexi. I'm honestly not sure how you've managed to do it, but our museum, the ocean, our heritage sites, they've all been given a new lease of life. The whole town is looking better than ever, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now, shall we head in? Of course. Let's have a party. Don't mind my wings. Thank you all for being here and supporting our town. Now, feels like he should be there, but anyway. Now I'd like to extend a warm welcome back to Judge Ross, who will be officiating our town rank ceremony today. Thank you, Mayor Connor. Good day, citizens of Starlet Town. Eleven seasons ago, I stood here before you all and awarded this town a rank of F. In our most recent view, various facets of our town, including the museum, ocean, and heritage sites, they've not only been repaired, but now, the, now rival the very best from other towns around the world. It is an honor... It is with a great honor that I present Starlet Town with an official Gold Seal Trank Rank Town Rank A Trophy. Say what? Congratulations to each and every one of you for your remarkable effort. Enjoy this moment, Starlet Town. You have truly earned it. Thank you, Judge Ross. Let's continue our celebrations outside, everyone. There's something here that is causing, like, a break in the textures. Yay! I did not know this happened. Very cool. Congratulations, Lexi. You have revitalized the town by reaching town rank A. Okay. As I was doing before, Sunny. Uh, the ranch, seven to one. Yeah, I did not know that was a thing. I'm happy that it's all in this episode. I was expecting to have to wait for a letter because he said he was going to send us a letter. And then I was expecting to have to wait a couple days, like the Kickstarter. 
But I'm happy that it's this way because now it's all in one episode. This is probably going to be a very long episode with the amount of cutscenes. So don't tell me any day. You lie. Um... Um, Vineyard Sunny. I think Charles is Monday. Six to ten. Five to nine. Uh, eight to four by the lake. This should be a Leah scene. No, it's not. It will not be a Leah scene. Uh, there, there, girl. This is some medicine. Nothing more than that. We don't want you to get sick now, do we? Whoa, there. It's just a little shot. That's all. It, it'll be over quick, and I'll get back to back, you back to mom, okay? Come on, Bessie. <laughs> you stole my cow name. How dare you? Come on now, Bessie. This is hard enough without you. Everyone, hey now, everyone just settle. We may try to go get the Leah one in town hall to verify that we haven't got it yet. Now, now, girl, it's a, it'll be okay. So this is a Jack scene. Oh, he was telling us last time he misses um, the, the work around the, the ranch. The cow whisper returns. Thanks, Dad. Hey, are you just have to know how to treat him, son? I know. It's just Bessie there has been fall, feeling a extra anxious today. It's vaccine day, and I think she remembers getting these shots herself. Necessary, but not fun. Oh, I hate shots. No, indeed. Did you, like, have something else to do? No, I thought I'd come spend time with you and see how you're doing. You're, hold you're holding that wrong, by the way. Wrong? Let me show you. You need a firm but gentle pressure. You're being too forceful with it. No wonder this little one's pulling away. I think maybe it's just because he's scared of... Oh, and you're not sitting right. Not sitting right. The way, oh, the way you're all leaning forward must have puts them on edge. They know something's about to happen to them. Because of how I'm sitting? Right, let me show you. See, it's like this. This is all wrong, get it? Are you getting it? Look, Dad, I have a lot of work to do before dark. I'm happy to chip in. Fine, have at it. I am guessing it's his. Hey, huh? With that attitude, no wonder they, they, no wonder they animals are all in, the animals are all in a huff today. Yeah, that should have been a jack scene. So when they say ranch, it means these two things. Um, we're gonna go to the community center, like I said. To try to get the Lee, see if it was the Leah scene. Cause there should be a scene in here. it. Yeah, this is it. We're going to begin with the child's pose. I want to see you letting all that stress out of your body. Anything you're thinking of that's causing you stress to or worry, I want you to let it go. Just relax and, ah. Uh... Yeah, this is definitely Leah. 
Hello, Leah. I've come to join your class. That's wonderful. I'm sorry, the scarf looks so silly right here. Where was I? I seem to have lost my train of thought somehow. Childs. I'm not a child. Like, really? I mean, child's pose. You just told the class to. Yes, right. Child's pose. Right, everyone. Settle back in the child's pose and let's let the stress just, you know, wash away. I'd say you're making everyone more stressful. I want you all to begin to tune into your breath. Breathe in and out of your nose. It should sound almost like the ocean. Keep it as smooth, as steady as you can. You're gonna go after her, aren't you? What was that, Ling? I didn't say anything. I could have sworn. Are you feeling okay, Leah? What? Yes, fine. Let's move on. We're going to treat and going to get into tree pose. For those of you who haven't done a tree pose before, Ling, just follow my lead. It looks complicated at first, but it's not so. Whatever. <laughs> Hard wow. You've done this before. Every day when I wake up, yoga is very soothing. <gasps> She's not the evil stepmother that you're trying to make her out to be. You are the evil one. Dun, dun, dun. Well, tree pose, everyone chopped up. Like, did they purposely want to make her be, like, really snotty? Because it's working. Yes, this is very relaxing. And release. We're going to transition to the Wario pose now. I want you to settle into that position. Really focus on how it feels. I'd like you to focus on yourself. Think about your place in the world and what we're doing here. Why are we here? Why are you here? Why won't you just leave me alone? Uh, these seem like very specific questions. I'm sorry, this is very unprofessional of her. Like very unprofessional. Like, you should be fired unprofessional. Let's try something else. Circle time. Like kindergarten? It can be very relaxing for the soul. Why don't we all just sit in a circle and tell the group how we're feeling today? Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm not sure I feel like it today either, Leah. Let's try again next time. Yeah, she should be fired for this. <laughs> like Mayor Connor, fire her. Good teacher. I can't wait for the next class. <laughs> Whatever. Like, totally. Let me whoosh my hair one more time. <laughs> yeah, these make her even worse. Like, at least in... Stardew, who is the really, the girl with the blonde hair, is it Haley? No. The girl with the blonde hair who lives with her sister. I can accept that. Um, at least with her, you get like an, her arc it makes her a little bit nicer. Like at first you're like, wow, but then her arc makes her a little bit better. Still not one of my favorites, but it can drive me crazy what her name is. I think it is Haley. I haven't played Stardew in so long. Like I played the new update for like maybe like 40 minutes and then I, I needed my, my mods. <laughs> that was it. I don't know how this has turned into a flower gathering day, but it has. Um, anyway, more cutscenes. Five to nine, the cabin. Six to ten, Coral Inn. We can't get another Charles scene today. We can't get another Jack scene today. Um, 
Waku, uh, Windy at the Beach or Pier. Hey, Lexi, you want to do some fix, fish, fish, fish? That again, fishing with us. Why that word was so hard, I have no idea. I come here, fish a spell. Arr. <laughs> he just he needs to be a pirate. He really does. Aye, aye, Captain. Show us what you got. Arr. You two are pros at this. You're going to put me to shame. Fishing is hard. I don't think I like fishing very much. Nah, you're good. I know I have completed the collection, so not to toot my own horn or anything, but anyone can learn to fish. Even Wakuir managed to catch some now and then. Um, thanks. You should have seen him back in the pithy mer on the pithy mermaid as a boy. Fumbling around with his line, he was more likely to hook the back of his shirt than a fish. Arr. I need to remember to grip my mandarins to give him gifts. And the boy was no better with the net. He doesn't have the muscles for it. His cousin ha Harukua? Haruka? Now she's a tough build. A banker in Pokio work day and night. Yeah, proving you wrong. Aye, nice. Lucky he decided to become an astronomer because he never would have been able to make a living with those small fishes he catch. Probably wouldn't wouldn't stand family business like Miniato, my brother's daughter. Good girl, that one factory is all success. Enough. Yeah, enough, sir. Arr. I didn't become an astronomer, astronomer, because I'm bad at fishing. I followed my passion just like you did when you bought the pithy, pil, pithy mermaid and started your fishing business. I learned that from you. I to do what I loved. What? So let, no, let me finish. I'm tired of you putting me down. If you're disappointed in me, fine, but keep it to yourself. No one wants to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I also don't want to hear it, to be brutally honest. I really don't belong here anymore, but it's fine. Ah, boy, don't sulk off like that. I'm not sulking. I'm standing up for myself, finally. Should have done it a long time ago. Poor Waku. Oh, and by the way, you taught me everything I know about fishing, Dad. So if I'm bad at it, whose fault is that? Ooh, he went there. Oh, snap. Pull out the ethos thing. Huh. Maybe you should go after him. I don't think he's coming back. This one? Nah, let the boy stew. He'll be back. Okay. Uh, Theo is all sunny, so I think that's about the end. Raj. is night. Everything's at night. So, I think we're going to go to the mines for a few hours. And then we're going to go get a bunch of cutscenes. This is going to be a very long episode. The next two, or this one and the next one's in, well, I guess it's kind of next two. Uh, they're both going to be longer because I do want to try to get everyone at least to like four hearts, all their scenes done before we abandon this for a little while. Part of me is a little sad to move on, but it's like there's only so much we can keep doing this to hopefully get RNG to kick in finally. You know what I mean? Oh my god. I may go into um, the Osmium mine. I want to know if we still... Okay, because my thoughts on it, we're going to go to the Osmium mine. Right? I want to know, are we still one hitting? Are we multiple hitting Osmium ore? I mean, with this pickaxe, we shouldn't. We 100% shouldn't be. But I want to know. 
curious minds want to know. Gonna find a floor with osmium. Okay, not this floor. Uh, ten. I just want an osmium node. Still do feel a little bad for duping. I have to say, I really do. But this game really forced my hand. Because I kind of reached a point where it's like I felt the game owed me something. <laughs> to be really honest, that's how I felt. It like it owed me something after the crashing and how many hours of my life it took like, like trying to get the footage like fixing their crash and working around the crash um that really just it irked me so much it's like i got this in my head that they owed me something no we're still too hitting it that's a shame Wow, you are just a pain in the tuchus. What is this? Is it the mole? Okay, we're going back. Um, We can actually just go and get the scene. I think I will. We'll go get a few more scenes. Um, I'm just gonna go here. I actually kind of left a little early. I probably should have done another hour. It's fine. We can go back to the mine again. Waiting, 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 waiting. There we go. This should be any. Or not? Did we already get this scene? I'm confused. We may have already got this scene and I didn't know. Well, I'll go to the next scene, which should be the lab. Oh, this is an Aaliyah scene. I didn't even have this one done. <laughs> I have some big news, Daddy. I just got back from Tokyo. I had an interview with the folks who decide, with, decide which pilots get to move on to astronaut training, and... I don't know. I want to hear back... I, I won't hear back for... At, oh, start the sentence again. I don't know. I won't hear back for a while. They still have other people to interview before they make a final decision. I'm nervous, Dad. I'm guessing that's part one. The last thing we saw with her was closed on Saturday. I want to pause really quick and look this up. Okay. Um... I believe it is technically inside the manor. So we're gonna quickly teleport over and go inside. I just wrote the vineyard. I guess I need to clarify. Well, the, the site doesn't clarify either that it's inside. Walter, Let's see if this works. It is, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is wild. That never happened to us, thankfully. Well, there's that one time when your purse almost got snatched in Pokio, remember? Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a scary moment. We were just done with dinner and on the way to the car. What was that, hon? It must have been my birthday, I think, because it was a pretty cold evening. I remember holding my coat like this, and there was a very fast person on a motorbike, and just bam. Oh... The attempt failed. I was fine. Could have fallen. Oh, dear. 
that was my fear too, but thankfully I wasn't harmed at all. Oh boy, that city can be wild sometimes. Part of part of why we moved here, actually. It's not my place. It's not a place to raise a family. It's the fresh air for me. I don't see a problem raising Luke in the city. I was raised in the big city myself. I had my fun. Oh, of course, dear. Mr. Lawyer Investor Man. Anyways, I remember telling Randy. Ah, my apologies, everyone. I forgot that I have to get going. I have to make a, a call in 10 minutes. Uh, pro bono for my friend. Oh, he is a lawyer then. Okay. Oh, sure. It's late. You should probably. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, please don't leave. Take your time. Enjoy the meal. I'm sure Bree's prepared an amazing dessert. Don't let me ruin the dinner. Too late, Walter. You're existed, so you ruined the dinner. Excuse me, ladies. Randy? I don't know what it is about this guy. He's just such a sleazeball. Now, where were we? Making sure that there's actually no birthday today. Why are we going up here? Oh, Lexi, too. Thanks for stopping by. You're one of the few people who do, it seems. Hmm? I should tell you something, Walter. Back in Pope, 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 Back in Pokey, all I was something of a big shot. Did you know that? Big city lawyer, that's me. Contracts, collections, litigation. People booked me months in advance for five minutes of my time. So sleazeball was right, lawyer. Uh, but out here, I guess we just don't see as many people as we used to. We have dinner parties, of course. We're not heathens. I've seen you at them, right? Uh, I don't remember being invited to a dinner party. Are you sure all those dinner parties we totally remember? We'll do this one. No, I'm sure I saw you. Ben fell right into the cake, remember? And Scott belted out his... <laughs> His entire college fight song in that terrible voice of his, <laughs> even after we begged him not to. It was a laugh, Brian. <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. Well, you didn't miss much. It's just that, well, after the parties are over, nobody seems to want to keep in touch of their own accord. You know, just check in, see how we're, we're doing, maybe catch a game or something. I have all the sports channels, you know. 77-inch... 70, Plasma TV, surround sound. When you watch a game, you can practically smell the peanuts. But Bree doesn't go in for all that sort of thing. And Luke's busy in his shop. And we need to catch up with the Luke story. It's just after a while, you're like, we're going to make me say it, aren't you? That's okay. I'm lonely, Lexi. I just, I don't really feel like I'm part of the community here. So this makes more sense for the family trivia night. That this probably I should have got before the family trivia night. But I'm nothing if not a man of action. This is a problem that's easily solved. I just need to participate more in community events, that's all. First stop, the tavern, yeah. A good place to catch up with all the latest going on. Yeah, this probably should have come before. Before we got his scene in the tavern, you can see yourself out, right? Right? Thanks for stopping by. Make sure there is no birthday today because I did not check the calendar and I didn't check my calendar. 13th. Uh, no, but tomorrow is Bree's birthday. Uh, Bree, where are you? Likes tacos and most fish. can try to make her fish tacos. I do remember she likes that. Or I can, I could just give her pink diamonds. That's a universal love. Okay. Uh, there was another cutscene I wanted to get. Um, where was it? Where was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I have too many sheets. Too many sheets. Uh, Coral Inn for the community center after six o'clock. Right? Yeah. Well, 
we'll get this one, I think. And then we'll go back to the mines really quick and go on from there. Gonna do a circle, gonna do a circle, running around the palm tree. I need to buy a better outfit for my wings because the wings are gonna be here to stay until we get a better thing. Um, Mainly I like how they close. I feel like I'm wearing an Elytra or a Lytra in Minecraft. An Elytra. This is a continuation of Raj saying he needs to be more in, 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 in the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, or they, excuse me. Um, thanks for coming with me to my first Chamber of Commerce meeting, Lexi. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I sell coffee for these people every day, but I'm worried they'll see through me. They know I'm not a real business owner, just like they are. Don't think like that. You're just as legit as they are. Yeah, if you say so. Of course you are, Raj. You're Raj. Good evening. Let's get this meeting started. For our first order of business, I'd like to welcome the newest member of the Starlet Town Chamber of Commerce, Raj of Raj's Coffee Corner. Uh, hi everyone. Raj, why don't you come up to the podium and tell, to um, and tell us a bit about yourself and your goals. Uh, they're blushing. Go on. Hi, everyone. I know a lot of you already. I have this um, a little coffee stand outside Fish and Sips. Raj's Coffee is a wonderful addition to our business, dis this business district. I get my caffeine fixed there every morning. Thanks, Connor. I work hard. I'm trying to make co the coffee stand a success, but I'm having trouble growing my business. Do any of you have any pointers for me? Um, this is worthy of discussion. The floor is open for anyone who wants to speak. Oh, Antonio. I tell you what's worth from my clothing store, White Flamingo. You have to spend money to make money. It's the only way to grow. But... What if I don't have a lot of money to spend? Doesn't matter. Take out a loan if you have to. If you're afraid to take the risk, you'll never succeed. Scumbag. Now I have to disagree with you there, Antonio. Sometimes we just have to create what we, with what we got. Be creative with what we got. Take the Beak Shaft, for example. The way I get people to keep coming back is by getting creative with the menu. And never offering things I actually need in the correct season. Can, can you give us an example, Sunny? At each season, we offer a new special, a fish special, pan-fried bluegills in the summer, lime-roasted arapaima in the fall, baked lobster tail in the spring. You want to surprise your customers, Raj. Give them something to look forward to with each visit. It's a surprise in every coffee. Surprise your customers, bake lobster tail? I think you're on the right track, Sunny, but some customers are afraid to try new things. You have to ease them into it. That's why I give out free samples of the taco truck. Let people try before they buy. If they like it, they'll be back. We do that at Socket. We let customers try out their gadgets they want. Nine times out of ten, they end up buying something. Uh, but I don't sell gadgets. I sell coffee. Um, how about free Wi-Fi then? Let them play with their gadgets while they're drinking your coffee. That's terrific. These are terrific ideas, Raj. Does this give you enough to go on? Uh, yes. Thank, thank you all. Excellent. Now on to our next order of business. Time for me to leave. I got one. What should I do to customers who keep asking for discounts? That means your prices are too high, sir. Okay. Yeah, we were falling behind with Raj. So we're going to go get our last scene for the day in Coral Inn. A lot of other stuff is specific days or specific weather conditions. Would you like this? I know we're behind with him. As much as I dislike him, I know we're behind with him. Oh, this way. And then we're gonna go back to the mine and really quickly 
go for geodes. <laughs> like I said, I just I do want people like on a slightly level playing field for events uh, before we we leave this game for a little while. That way, I feel like everyone's kind of on an equal, a little bit less. I, there's less I have to get later. Well, your big toe looks fine and it doesn't hurt anymore. How are you feeling? I feel fine. My foot stopped hurting a long time ago. I would hope so because it's been weeks. Thanks for checking up on me. No problem. Now you can go off to your next adventure. Just be careful on rainy days, okay? I think this actually is a Yuri scene. And, um, eat vegetables. They are good for you. Okay. Valentina is fine, so my here, job here is done. I'm off to work now. See you around. Or that could have been a Suki scene. I actually don't know. This is the scene I came here for. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? You need to accept, obviously, obviously. That's just so, too, that's just too exciting. I didn't think I'd. Hey, Lexi, what's up, folks? What are we excited about today? This. It arrived earlier today. Since you're here, could you help me out real quick? I've been waiting, wanting to enter Game of Cones for as long as I can remember, so I thought, why not try it? You know, Game of Cones is the on the TV, I ignore it like 90% of the time. Well, 99.9% of the time. I never really thought I'd actually be accepted. Actually. Stop being so humble, Eva. You're an amazing baker. Let's do it. Gosh, what am I going to bake? What's the first thing that comes to mind? What about your famous cookies? Let's go. I know. Come with me, Lexi. Why can't I buy this table? I actually am thinking of getting a new table. I don't like our table with the red. Ugh. I just, every time I look at it, I'm like, Ugh. I'm going to try to make coup la piece. My grandfather, grandparents used to bake it all the time. The recipe looks a little complicated though. This is like her entire story is the game of cones. Okay, we're done with scenes for the day. Unless we run into any by chance, which I don't think we will. Um, actually, we're going to go this way and go through the house. Or go through our yard. I do want need to check for a fancy flower. This is a 55 minute day. Oh my god. That is the problem with the cutscenes. They just take so much time we'll try to do a quick day tomorrow or oh, this might just be a long episode it's like i said i'm trying to get things done um for before we leave the game for a little while It's like I, I just I want to leave this game at a good place before we leave it for a little while, mainly to keep it easier for myself with what we did last. Ah. That's the problem when you leave a game. Like I'm afraid when we go back to Sandra. That game, though, I will say, is very easy to pick up where you left off. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Like 90% of the time, you just kind of look at the missions and be like, oh, okay, I know where I'm at. Like when, 
Well, okay, they still have the bug where the arrows point everywhere on the map. Which is so annoying. It was like I quit playing for like almost a month because of that bug. And it, it was very easy to pick right back up. This game I have a little bit more of a difficulty because you really have to think about what you did last time. We have not got a single flower this season. I am so glad I duped that then. My God. Like, I am so glad I duped it. So we need preferably the water geodes. That is the preference here. Mysterious are also fine. I don't know the drop rate of, what is it called, Ver Verisite? Black Opal was nicer because it was easier to remember. I think it's Verisite. I don't know. Oh no, Barrel, 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 Barrel. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. I will have to, I concentrate on the black opal because it was needed for an altar. This is not, but that's why that was a concentration was, it is an altar. So, yeah, it just, I don't know. Like I've said last time, I've said a few times, it just sucks to be down to RNG. There's no skill involved in RNG. It is just quite literally luck. Like, it just is such a feel bad. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Yeah, I will, I will definitely have to, and probably for next episode, I will look at percentages. I was kind of hoping this one would be a little easier than Blowful. I think we're just going to go. This has been a long day. Okay, we're just going to go. Gosh, I don't even know how many cutscenes we have today. I really don't know. I'll find out in editing. That's, that's where I find out. When I have to go. Well, there's a nice on the their wiki. Uh, the, there is a nice event page where you can just click on the names and it kind of lists them really fast. I do just use that. That's actually really bad RNG right there. This probably should have been a day where I just said, mm, today ain't a good day, and just walked away. Okay, Bree's birthday should be tomorrow, and like I said, she's getting black, um, the pink diamonds. Yeah, okay. Say hi to you. We're going to try to do a quick day today. Valentina, of all the people, Valentina. Okay, none of Val Valentina scenes are in. Okay, it is raining today. Wow, it is very framey when you wake up now. There's a flyer from Raja's Cafe. That is, I think, the, a part of his 
or their uh, next scene. Tomorrow is the Harvest Fest. I do believe that's what that is. Um, their next scene. There we go. This is for two things. One's going in here. There we go. This is this will give us more points. And then one's going to chem or chime. That's what the devs called her in their I guess Earth Days thing. Her name is Chime. I don't know. I don't look at that name and think Chime. I don't even look at that name and think Chem. <laughs> uh, this is Honey, actually. Oh. Like I said, we're going to try to make this a very quick day. Um, it may be me ending the day very early. Just because this is a very long episode. I don't, I wanted to, I, my goal is to concentrate one day on scenes and the other day do normal things. That may kind of makes it so that one day is really long and one day is really short. Wow. Nope. Um, cactus. Oh, these got flop. Um, we're just gonna put it in here for now. A chem. looks so stupid. Uh, this goes in here and it's full, so they're gonna move to this one. Yeah, we are reaching that point where um, things are filling up. That's good. Okay. Our cranberries in here. Move these into there. Just always need to make sure that it's in this chest. The thing I'm probably gonna have the hardest time doing when I come back to this game is probably figuring out the storages. I am probably gonna spend like a day being like, what were you doing? Ooh, this is done. I'm not going to do the okra. Okay. Uh, next. Did I check this? I did. Did I check this? I did. We're going to go sell this. First go here. This is just to fill. Ooh. Double forageables. Okay. Um, yeah. You, you combat. Um, this, um, this is is l quite literally just to fill in this, which we just now need the cheese wheel, which should be soon. Yeah, it's right there. Probably another day or two. All right, let's go make a bunch of money. Hmm. Hmm, we're just gonna sell you. Wow, okay. We need two of these. Uh, R, R, R. Where 
is Bree. And that's not even the right house. At home. But they're closed. So where's Kem? Um, probably at home. Which is closed. So we're going to go to the goddess. No, we're going to go get our stuff from the sheds. Nope. From coops and barns. The animals cannot go out today. I was really hoping to get this one going. And it's a little bummer that it's not going to be. It is what it is. I mean, I could just pet the animals. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that is the solution. <laughs> this is the lazy strat. <laughs> just so stupid. It's just so stupid. Like, that's, that is the solution, 1,000%. No. That would be too easy. This is where I'm wishing that, well, this is where my modded Minecraft comes in. I wish there was a way I could hopper these machines to the outside so I didn't have to go inside. Granted, well, no, they, they have to be placed in there. I was going to say, granted, I probably could just move it, but no, I don't think that's possible. You're still going. Wow. Again, something I wish they would do. Make all these machines. We're going to put the milk first, I think. Make all of these machines. Uh, work on the same schedule or on the same button. Oh, drives me up the wall. One machine is this click. One machine is that. Make them the same. Just, it's, it's not difficult. Um, olives. It, that really is becoming a pet peeve of mine. Just make everything the same button. There's no reason not to, other than maybe stubbornness. Like, I don't know if they just didn't pay attention when they were, like, assigning buttons. These machines are one button, the other, other machine's another button, and then there's another machine with another button. Right? So you go to the machine and you think you're hitting the right button. It's like, no, that's a different machine. Duh. Like, anyway. Okay. Where is Kem? Still at home. We're gonna go up to there first, because money is more important than Bree. Hey, Takeda. Takeba. Making sure she is still here. Yes, she is. Kem, for some reason, I always kind of miss okay i don't know why but i just i always kind of miss them on my rounds <laughs> brie is still at home it works out nice i'm in i'm i'm happy i i duped these as much as i did because um, easy gifts. Look, at Taco. Where are you, lady? I'm just literally standing there. What a fantastic birthday gift. Thank you. There we go. We should have maxed her out. I will check. Up, up. Yes, we did. That's why it's going to be nice having those pink diamonds. Because if we don't have their loved gift, let's give them a universal love. We are going to the goddess and we are finishing the altars. It feels nice. Oh, Waku, hi. Who do you think will clean up the pufferfish folding? Maybe the mayor should ask if Raphael and Pablo up for it. 
been reading up on black holes and pr to prepare for my presentation. I'm getting excited about them all over again. For example, did you know there's a supermassive black hole at the core of our galaxy? It's dormant now, but it was probably much more active a few million years ago. I just hear supermassive black hole and think muse. <laughs> That's what I think of when I hear that. Muse. I haven't listened to Muse in a long time. They're one of the few bands I actually listen to. Sprinkler 3. We can access the Savannah now, guys. We can do it. Yay, I'm so happy it's implemented. In this finished game. Lexi, congratulations are in order. You have successfully completed the rare altar. This feat is no ma small matter. And for that, a special gift awaits you. Our legendary pet. I present to you, to you this seed bag. Within it lies an ordinary seed, but a creature from a mystical realm. Take this seed bag and place it on your farm. Water it, tend to it, nurture it as you would with any other crop on your land. Time will do its part. With your love and care, this seed will grow, and one day, a mystical creature will be ready to greet you. Now go and nurture your new companion into existence. Until we meet again, Lexi. Where I wish I had, like, scars, like, fade away button. Thanks, goddess. So this is complete. How many points did we get for it? Forty-five. Forty. And forty. And technically only forty, though. So the temple is fully healed. Go us. And we have a mythical seed. We'll plant it where we're going to plant it. I don't know. Um, well, I have seeds in here. No. Um, <laughs> I don't care. It's just whatever. You, my mystical seed, are going to get the nicest fertilizer. It probably doesn't make... Oh, for real? Okay, well, we'll... Seven days, we'll go plant a pumpkin. So disappointing. I've never had the mystical pet before. It's probably going to be bad. 13. Oh yeah, it was pretty much useless because I forgot those. Forgot those don't reseed. That is why. We'll wait for this to be ready. And we'll put it in the greenhouse. It'll be tomorrow. For now, the mystical seed is going in here. So we did our errand. I don't know where to put this. In. Um... We did our errand. We did our birthday. Where did I put this? I think up here. Yeah. Go in there. Yeah, we've done everything today. So I think we're just going to go diving for myth the nodes. Um, not nodes. Uh, mythical coffers. And then it's call it a day. We're just going to go real quick. That hitbox is just everywhere. It really is a feel bad that the thing we've now unlocked is not even in the game.
It really is a feel bad. Just. Because this, I have unlocked. Um, I have never finished it. This is the first time I finished the temple. I have unlocked that altar before. I've done the rare altar before. Most of the time I've been waiting on, it's been the fish one that I've had really bad luck with. Um, and uh, I remember the first time I completed it, I was all excited, like, ooh, the savannah? And I'm like, well, where is it? Where is it? I'm like, it's not there, and it's not there, and it's not here? Question mark, I'm like, oh, Google, not implemented. To me, it should, I get it's a placeholder essentially, but they should seriously change it to saying TBA to be announced. It shouldn't tell you something that's not in the game. But yeah, that is, that is 100% a feel bad. What are you gonna do? Other than to have a developer finish their game. Which is the truth. <laughs> At least we get a slightly better drop rate, it seems, for the mythical mis what are they? Mysterious decoders. Part of me does think though, um, the C.I. Joe, I have a feeling we're going to probably get it from the salesman. I just have that feeling. I actually don't think the, um, I don't think the barrel is available through them. Because when I check on obtainability, like how to obtain it, it doesn't say anything about the mysterious seller person or rare seller person. So I have a feeling we are going to be at the mercy of RNG. Which I don't know, I guess if I reach that point where it's just, we are seriously waiting on barrel to finish the museum. We might build a shed to dupe, to just to dupe things again. And that's really the only reason we got the the blowpool is because I dupe stuff so we had 200 and some chances. Just sad. But, you know. I think they need to reevaluate the drop rate for these things just a little bit. It's like I said, where we're at right now, it's, it is a feel bad that you are literally waiting for luck to kick in. It just does not feel nice. What are you gonna do? That's why I wish there was like a luck. Like in Sandrock, there's luck furniture, there's luck clothes or accessories. Part of me does wish that they did have like a luck totem or something in this game. To like, in or a luck ring to increase your luck. I haven't seen anything. I guess I can do more research on it. But again, that feels bad to have to go do outside research constantly. I think that's probably one of the more reasons I'm very excited to move on to a different game where I don't need to do outside research. I can just play. I am granted, like I said, if I do play Echoes of the Plum Grove, I've already done a fair bit of research. I've done... I have my spreadsheets. They're already going. Like, who would I be if I didn't have my spreadsheets? You know? But, I mean, the problem with the Echoes of the Plum Grove is that the wiki is not up to date. So a lot of it is trial and error. Like, we are definitely getting very good luck with the mysterious coffers.
And we're not going to get any cutscenes today. That was yesterday. Um, we had more than enough yesterday. Some I planned on, some were out of the blue. I was not expecting the whole uh, A rank stuff. I was not expecting that, and I probably should have held off finishing the altars today. Until next up, it's fine. Just because this is a very long episode. Yeah, but it's like for the next game I play, it's like I, I don't know how long it takes to play. If it is Echoes of the Foam, Foam Grove, I don't know how long that game takes to play from start to finish. A lot of it depends on like aging, speed, that, da, 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 da. But I don't know after that. I also, like I said, I still want to do a Stardew Valley playthrough. Mainly for myself, because I have not played that game in a really long time. Like, I have seen still none of the new content. I haven't spoiled myself on the new content either. And some of it a little bit, because I did watch um, a Twitch Rivals, like about uh, two, three, two weeks, a week ago. And it was some, some of it was the new content. But no one, and because they were speed running it, no one really got any of the new scenes. And if they did, this one click, 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 right through it. So I really didn't see much. But man, those speedrunners for Stardew Valley is just. <sighs> I think I started a story on that one day and then we ended up getting distracted. That is like the next level with speedrunners for Stardew Valley. Like, the things they know is just crazy. Like, I was watching Dr. Glue on play in the Twitch Rivals, and each team had a speedrunner to help them. One of them, people were not more mad at because he's, like, the current number one record holder for speedrunning. You know, maybe not the best idea to have the number one speedrunner on a team should maybe have them be like the MC of the event instead. But instead of on a team, that probably would be because a lot of people were making comments about it. People were not happy. But anyways, but the speedrunner who was on Dr. Blue on his team, she knew that well he was having he was the official fisherman, because that's Blue on is very good at fishing in, in Stardew. And um he was doing all the fishing and but he, they were having a really hard time as a team getting the puffer fish for the bundle. And so the girl who was the speed runner, she goes, you know, there's a game rule that the first fish you catch is a guaranteed catch. What if I make sure it's a, a puffer fish? And he's like, oh, sure. If you think you can do it, go ahead. And she did it. And it's like, they were one of the first teams to get the puffer fish because it's little tiny game rule she knew about that you were guaranteed in Stardew Valley to catch your first fish. I was like, oh my goodness. I was just like, what? How many hours of that game do you have to play to have that much knowledge? It's like, do you, when you go, like, do you study code at that point? Like, it was just, it was crazy, but it was also not relaxing. Like, they made a cozy game into, like, we have to do this, we have to do this, sleep, 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 sleep. It was like, oh, my God. They would, like, skip weeks at a time. It was crazy. But the, twi the Twitch files for it was actually, it was interesting, because it was, like, the first to do this, the first to get to 100 levels in the desert mind, the first to get a million coins. I mean, it was just lit randomness, pure randomness at first. The first to complete the um, the community center, that's which I think Dr. Blue on focused on was the community center. But it was stressful. It was also four hours and I watched all of it. It was interesting. 
I still do think Minecraft is better for Twitch rival events. In general, just generally speaking. There's more to do with Minecraft than starting. I, I probably, if, if Blue One and uh, Critic Zeus were not in it, I probably would not have watched. I think this is going to be done, I think, here. Well, well let's finish my camera. We're so we're close. I this they need to do something to balance the pixels. Because you overwhelmingly Uh, my OBS kind of was having an issue there for a second. It was like nothing was responding, but I'll have to see if the recording's fine. If not, we're recording today again. Oh, we just may have a chunk of the video missing. I might actually pick that one, a chunk of the video is missing. Mainly because I don't think my throat could handle filming another video today. Wow, we went all the way from one side to the other. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden just OBS to stop responding. If, there's, if you've never used OBS, it has like a bar for the game volume or whatever you're recording and then your microphone and nothing was moving. But nothing, there was no like white screen or anything. It just wasn't responding. We'll see if it worked. The way it feels a little relaxing just to do something simple like this today. I don't know why I feel the need to always, when I go for mysterious coffers, come to this level. Oh, we've lapped, or did I pick the wrong path? I picked the wrong path. Like, that's never happened to me before. Yeah, I don't know why I feel the need for mysterious coffers come here. There's no rhyme or reason for it. Like, I don't know why. Ooh, that was a, it was a twofer. Oh, uh, we're going to leave after this room. We have 32 to process. Okay. The thing I am waiting for, like I just, I cannot wait for, is the moment when we've enchanted all of our tools, which actually might be the end of next, of next episode, but we enchant our tools and we reach a point where I can process a ge geode and just sell it all. I can't wait. I'm going to leave this on me to remember to process. our tool should be ready next episode and um oh well, it's a different button that's right our tool should be ready next episode and then like I said we'll process this snowdrop I kind of think at any level is might be actually worth doing Very, so the, I lost the page. Um, sorry, you hear a lot of papers rustling. Hmm. Well, I think because this is automated, I think Snowdrop Honey at this point we will process. Just because it is automated, we're not. This is just passive at this point. We'll do it. It's fine. It's not like it's taking my time up. It's just, do I sell it now or do I sell it later? 
Nope. That is quite literally all it decides. Now or later. Later. Okay. We're just gonna sell stuff. Uh, sell, sell, sell. Woo hoo hoo. Part of me is tempted. I might see if this is worth more than this. I don't think it is. I think it's the same price. We don't know how much that is. Okay. There we go. Going to bed. Hey, Tinkerbell, I already said hi to you. Leveled up with Bree. 169,000. Wow, 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 wow. This every day takes longer now. It's best over in a day, we should consider checking it out. Oh, yeah, so next episode is Harvest Fest. We will participate. We will should win. Hopefully, we will get our points for it. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Um, Next episode, our watering can should be ready. We will process these, get the watering can, enchant it. And we will leave this game for a little while. Tomorrow should be the last episode. For a little while, we'll come back. But we'll we're moving on to something else for a little while until the update comes out. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can get finish some museum collections with this. I don't think so, but we'll try. But anyways, so yeah, Harvest Fest next. So I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourself and bye for now. Mm -hmm.